So we're gonna need to lethal pursuer to find the first survivor. We get Billy. Hello. Hi. We have Knockout on Jonah. Paulie on the hook. Now we could do this combo early. We could even do it early. If we put two people on the hook. So now we have two people on the hook. Now what I'll do is get Knockout on one survivor and it's GG. I'm gonna use Darkness Revealed to see if I could find the others. Where are they? I don't see them. But that means they're not close to any lockers. Which could only mean one thing. Probably over here. And a lot of people were probably like, oh wow, the, the baselet kit unbreakable. That's like an adequate balance. Hi. So now we're gonna get the knockout on Jonah. Hi. I'm sorry, Polly. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. If I wait 10 seconds. No! Okay. That's GG. So now, not only does it incentivize tunneling more, it also incentivizes camping more. And, um, I, I, I don't know, man. Or maybe in games, like, where this mechanic isn't implemented, they could use Deliverance to get off the hook. Unbreakable, right? They, they would have had all these opportunities, right, to use Unbreakable. But if the killer chooses to play like a dick, you get rewarded twice as much, three times as much. Huntress is the one that would benefit the most from this update because she can cross map people from like 200 meters away. And she doesn't need to like rear end the survivor. With four survivors alive, you tunnel one, then you get to three survivors. You hook one survivor, you use knockout on the second survivor so that they recover in 90 seconds. And now you have 90 seconds to down the last survivor and the last survivor is gonna be hiding. So that's where you use darkness revealed, to reveal the last one and then GG. They added base kit unbreakable, right? The compensation is base kit unbreakable. If you do this strategy, you just need to worry about unbreakable one time. Since you're playing Huntress, she has the ability to down people from 200 meters away. All she has to do is hit that, those snipes and game over. All right, with Lethal Pursuer, you can see where all the survivors are. You know how it be? You wanna go? The so one thing that's crazy about the update is that you don't need to worry about the base kit unbreakable as long as you hook people. The update can be a major buff to killers as long as you pick people up. All right. Basically, you get rewarded for being fast. If I wanna if I wanna win as fast as possible, how do we do that? We have to get one guy out of the game as soon as possible. This is the PTB. I don't think people give a shit. <laughs> it's for science. The developers have added a win condition for killer. If we down all the survivors, we win. It's game over. It's GG. So by tunneling one guy out of the game, we essentially make it we basically take the daycare center. We go from babysitting four kids to babysitting three. Now, that new sound means last survivor standing. Uh, <laughs> and then there was one. If I down this Zarina, it's game over.
I only get knocked out with this. And now, since Huntress can like cross map people and down people from across the map, she's going to benefit really greatly from this update. Because if you can just hit your snipe, you can just straight up win the game. Out of nowhere. A throw from the 50 yard line like that, you know? Now, if we find the last guy, it's game over. GG. We pick up Fang, so we don't need to worry about that unbreakable timer anymore. And then there's one. One more survivor. That's base kit unbreakable. We want to M1 her to get knockout so that she, we have more time to work with while she's on the ground. Now, since there's one more survivor, they're going to be hiding. We need to use darkness reveal to find them. They're all the way across the map. So if we hit her, it's GG. <laughs> and this, this is uh this is the broken part. <laughs> uh yeah. Now, personally, from what I've seen, this might be a little broken. <laughs> you know, we're gonna fucking do it again. We're gonna do it again. Alright? We're gonna do how fast was that game? <laughs> Three, four minutes. <laughs> Get Ada again. Oh, she disconnected. Okay. That's Meg. That's Kate. That's Gigi. This is incredibly broken, Huntress, man. Yeah. So out of every, every out of everything that I've gathered, it needs to be tweaked. Yeah. I, I really don't see this getting pushed alive and everything is a little broken <laughs> at the current moment. Even mind, everything seen here is from the PTB. This won't be in the next patch, as I think BHVR knows a ton of revisions need to be done with the finisher Mori system. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.